Hello everybody. So here in this video, we're gonna have a look in this data. This is loan defaulter, which is basically uh, providing you the data for all those customers who, who had taken the loan or either paid completely or defaulted on that. Using that, we're gonna do our exploratory data on that data itself. We're gonna do our exploratory data analysis and uh, you know and we're gonna make our conclusion all right so how to get this data first of all let me show you what all are the data that we have here is the application data then previous application data application data is something which we're gonna use to make our conclusion previous is something we're gonna use for reference and then here we have the column description whatever columns are available in this and in this table you can download this data by clicking over here or over here when you download this in your download folder you're gonna get this kind of data this like this all right so as soon as you are done with that then you can extract that and store that in a folder so like the same way I have done it here is the application data and here is the previous application data here is the column description which is comma separated I have converted that into the Excel which is nothing but just a save as thing all right I have here column description file already opened in that I've created these two additional columns. You don't need to worry about this. All right. No, I think yes, these two columns I have created additionally. So you don't need to worry about this thing. This is exactly the same. This is the column name and this is an ID variable which I have created for my use. All right. You don't need to worry about you can just continue with these three variables. All right. Now moving forward, you in your data, you would also be having the table name. Here is the table name, then column name, and then the description, all right? So let's just go to the data and try to import all these three things. Not three, but two. This application data and the previous application, okay? So I'm taking you to the Jupyter Notebook. Here in the Jupyter Notebook, we are going to do this analysis in all this segment. We, we are going to cover all these things, which is data import and basic exploration feature selection feature engineering when we do feature engineering we're gonna cover missing imputation value modification and all these things all right and then after that we're gonna do data analysis and then we're gonna make our conclusion or insights isn't it interesting yeah it is i can hear that so let's just start with importing the dependencies all right so first thing is import pandas as pd import numpy as np import matplotlib.py plot as plt then we're gonna say import seaborn as sns and then there are you know some of the more dependencies i'll, I'll just show you let let's take it one by one okay so we are done with importing all these modules all right which would be required okay now after this what we're gonna do is we're gonna import the data so first let's import this file this application data okay so for that we're gonna say pd dot read csv and then inside that we're gonna put the location then here i'll just come and i'll copy the file name application data dot csv V. not b it's v and then i'll copy this and then i'll say previous app i'm just trying to import both of the files nothing else no rocket science it's very simple you just have to follow the same step if you are absolute beginner right see i'm making this video from the perspective of an absolute beginner if you are someone who knows all these things uh you know you already know all these things then either you can skip this part or you can watch this in 1.5x or 2x speed all right so we let's just import this when i hit enter this is going to import it it's going to take a few seconds let's just bear with this all right now we are done with importing these two files now let's have a look one by one so here i'm going to say app.head and it's going to show us five observations now you can have a look on this observation now let's say this is the column which I don't understand what this target column is okay so what I can do is I'll just copy this column name will come over here and in this I'm just going to put this and then I will see so here target means it is simply telling you which customer is a defaulter and which one is a non defaulter nothing else so this is how I'm just trying to show you how you can refer to understand the column name 
now we are done with this thing all right so the next thing which we're gonna do is feature selection how we can do that let's just try so we're gonna do we're gonna start over here so let's just say app dot columns let's have a look at the list of columns now here you can see we are not able to see all the columns so here is some option we can try putting right over there and this will enable pandas to show all the items let's just see if this works on this if not then still it is fine that's not an issue all right so now here we have the list of columns let's try to have a look at its shape 307,511 rows and 122 columns that that's what we have are all these columns useful let's just have a look so app dot we are first going to check in all these 122 columns how many columns are there which has the missing values and what proportion of the total rows the missing values are okay let's just see app dot is null you're gonna say simple this is very simple thing all right so you just use this and you're gonna have a list of all the columns so here you see this is this particular column name type suit right so this has 1292 missing rows rows where this where the value in this particular column is missing now if you see this is not arranged somewhere it is showing missing somewhere it is not showing missing where you see zero that means there is no missing value all right so what we're gonna do over here is I will just try to sort this thing sort values all right and let's just see now it is sorted and it's looking pretty well here we can see all the missing all the columns which has missing value at the bottom now let's just do one thing I will just put this in a data frame all right so let's say call missing info or let me just call it msng info missing info all right and here I will just say pd data frame let's just enclose this let's just take this over here and let's hit enter so here we go now we just managed to make a data frame out of it but you see we don't have the column name so for that let's just say reset index and now what we're gonna have is this let's rename these two columns So here we will say just columns Oops, again I hit tab and then here we're gonna provide a dictionary let's, do, let's take this inside this I will just say call name call name means column name I'm trying to say and over here we have the column name 0 and then here I'm just going to say null count all right so I guess it's pretty well now let's just say in place equals to true and let's just have a look at the head bravo we are done with renaming this now the next thing which we're gonna do is we're gonna create a percentage of this so what does that mean let me show it to you for example here you see the data all right so here you see this many missing records are there but we are not able to conclude what proportion of the total rows is it missing right so here we have 307.5 thousand records to in total out of that this many are missing so let's try to calculate the percentage of it all right so let's just say here i'm just going to use this particular column name i will say null count let's just put right over here and i will divide it with total number of rows so what is the total number of rows that we have here you see we checked that using shape function so i will use the same and i will pick this element so for example if i do this and I, if i put this zero then i'm going to get first element if i put one over here i'm going to get second element so i require first element okay so i will be using zero let me take you back over here and here i will just say app dot is dot shape and here I will just take zero and let's just store that in a separate column in the same data uh, in the same data frame over here I will just say missing percentage all right I'm just using a abbreviated form which is PCT I'm not sure if that makes sense to you all right so i just need to put this in quotations 
all right now let me just take this and i will print the top five records okay so let's just try to hit enter so here we got all right let me just print the whole information instead of five because it's not making much sense okay now let me just show you here is the here is what we got now now i will just try to convert that i'll just do into 100 and let's just see now this is looking like this now let me just round it up i'll just do or let just let it be i will just keep it like this only so that it gives us a perfect information right because many of the time when you see the columns like this so like this like this so if you just round it up to two this it then we won't be able to get this information now what i'll do is i'll just export this data in excel so that we will not have to do a scroll up again and again okay so i will just say to excel and here i will just export this in the same folder over here okay now let me just put it right over here and i will just call it missing info dot xlsx all right and here i will just say index equals to false all right and let's just see i'll just say head okay so we are done with exporting it as well so here is the file that we got let's just have a look here is what we got i'll just do some modification into it i'll just phrase spam just to make it more navigable right let me just do this and do this okay now let's just have a look so if you see over here all these columns these all columns have the missing records more than 40 percent you see these all columns have records more than 40 percent right so we don't require these columns in our data columns which are having the records more than 40 percent will not make much sense to us and we can't end up you know ma uh, making it usable by just imputing the missing values all right so let's just drop this we are going to start okay all right so uh, we will start feature engineering so in that we will tr uh, include missing imputation and all those things all right so but th uh, this is still the feature selection so i'm just going to take it right over here all right so what i'll do is let let's just start with dropping these columns okay msng info no app data i'll create a separate data frame which we say app missing removed app is the data frame name and here i'm simply trying to say that out of this data frame i'm done with removing the missing columns okay all right so when i say missing columns, it, it means only those which has missing values more than 40 percent all right now after that i'm going to say drop and in that i require to supply the list of all those columns which has the records missing more than 40 percent so how can i do that so for that i need to filter that filter those columns out of this data frame okay so how can i do that so let's just say first thing which we're gonna do is right over here missing info and in that again i would say missing info right over here i will just use this and I'm just trying to filter this thing okay so I'll just say which is greater than 40 right so let's just see what happens oops there is some error missing info P is not defined so why did I use P missing percentage is not defined how come that could be possible okay I just need to put that into the quotation I'm sorry I'm making making silly mistakes just bear with me okay so this is the list of the uh, this is the subset of data now i only require this particular column right call name okay so i will just put over here call name call name and here we got but now this is series i need to convert that into the list so i will just say 
let me come back over here just right over here and here I'll say missing call dot to list all right missing call and let's just see now these columns are converted that series is converted into the list let's just see the total number of columns into it these are 49 these are quite huge in numbers isn't it but yeah this is this is how it is right so let's just try to drop all these columns so here I will say missing removed dot drop and here I'm just going to supply labels and that will be missing call all right missing call and then axis I need to say one and then we will see the shape of this data frame now here we go we have just 73 columns remaining right you remember previously we had 122 now we are done with that let's just have a look at the sample data we will just have a look at sample data let's just call it head and here is the simple sample data and now in this table what I'll do is wherever whatever we just removed I'll just mark them red so that we will use that as a reference okay now after this if you see over here there are certain flag columns let's try to investigate these flag columns okay so first thing which we're gonna do is we're gonna filter out we're gonna make a list of all the flag columns out of this data how can we do that so let me just call it I'll just say flag call I'm going to create a blank list and then I will say for call in the data frame name is this dot columns so remember this will give the list of columns if call dot starts with if call dot starts with flag underscore then what I want it to do is just append that into the this particular blank list flag call dot append and inside that call okay now once this is done we will have a look at this flag call let's just hit enter wow we just got this we just got the list of all those columns which starts with flag how many columns are there let's just have a look 28 columns now we need to explore these columns how these columns are looking like okay so let's just try to explore these columns the data out of these columns okay so i will simply say app missing and here i'll just supply the list of columns flag call okay and i should rather say head over here so that it will be quick now this is the column in this if you see these are generally flag for example if you see flag document 13 what does this mean so I'll just copy this and I'll come back to this particular file where we have the column description go inside this and try to put it over here and this over here you see it is nothing but simply saying there are I mean there are let's say 20 uh, documents were required out of which 13 column 13th document was either submitted by the uh, client or not that's what it is telling okay so we will start with uh, looking into each of the columns how significant these columns are in relation with the target column target means whether that's a default or non-default and then we will try to uh, you know take a decision on that whether we want to drop or not see you in the next